Oh yeah, I've been jump certified since I was 18. Wow. That's why I left the army. I had a streamer. Uh, my riser popped when I was going into Fallujah. Uh, basically, almost destroyed my back to the point where I can't even get certified as a firefighter in the state of Florida. Hello, this is a free call from Babe, an inmate at the Orange County Corrections. To accept this free call, press zero. To and I can't even begin to think if this gets out on the internet or the, the news. It is, what time is it? 12.17 uh, in the afternoon. I'm uh, here at uh, Deputy First Class David Mitiga. Sergeant Keith Midler. All right. So today we're going to be recording a conversation. Uh, he's going to be calling Jeremy DeWitt uh, and making contact with him, reference to an escort. Oh, let's get him on the phone. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. State. Hey, Jay. Yes. How are you? Good. How are you? Great. Hey, buddy, did you get that round I sent you, the one that goes up through Seville? No, I didn't get any email. Okay, well, I'm going to send that to you. Um, okay. It's still going to be about two hours. Uh, it's probably going to be about 84 or 86 miles country roads, not very many stoplights. Um... I guess I guess what I need to know is if I mean because we remember we talked about doing ten at first and and then you said we needed eighteen when we were going to go through the loop. And then, right. Since we're not going through the loop, I just wanted to see how many people you thought we needed. And remember, you know, you told me you were in the military, so you're going to give me the military discount. Right. Um, so what's your what's your pre-registration like at right now? I'm at two. 252 that have pre-registered for the three-day event, which will be included in the Saturday ride. And I'll be honest with you, between the Goldwing Club, the Llama Group, and the Buffalo Soldiers, I'd probably say we can get another 100. Okay. Um, I need to look at the route. I mean, I'll say 10, but I, I just don't want to have you undercovered. You well, know that's saying? fine. That's fine. So let me look at the route and see how many stops there actually is and how many, you know, stop lights or stop signs or things like that and go from there. Okay. Uh, but. So uh, let me think. Um, so if we do the 10, is it still going to be the um, 1,200? Yes. Okay. That, that's the discount. Trust. Because <laughs> normally we're 160, an officer. Okay. So. All right, so the other thing, um, if it rains, I'm not sure it will. There's, we're still going to do the ride unless okay. it's just downpour. Or you guys are still going to do it, right? Of course, yeah. Now, I need you to do me a favor, please. What's that? You know I was the second guy in the ribbon riders, and that was the biggest clusterfuck I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> if I hadn't turned... To go back towards uh, Benson Junction Road, we'd have ended up in damn Daytona Beach. Right, I know. So what I'm going to ask for, because I got so many people coming from out of state, and I got so many people coming from in Florida, I want to want to make sure. And if you have to have extra people, I don't care. I want to have I want to have the escort in front of us. Okay, you want a cruiser up front? Yeah. That was the route. Yeah. Okay, I can do that. Okay. And Not a um. Uh, look at it, figure out what you got to do, and then uh, call me back. Sounds good. All right. Sounds like a plan, yes, sir. Now, shooting shit just for the hell of it. What branch okay. of the military were you in? Army. Army? So was I. Where were you stationed? I was Benning, and then I was Bragg. Uh, I was originally a Ranger, 3rd Battalion, out of Benning, and then I was 3rd Group out of Bragg. Wow. Yeah. Well, thank you for your service. Thank you. What All did right. you do? I was a, <laughs> I had a lot of MOSs. I was 31B20, which was communications, and then I was 16F Foxtrot, which was the M42 Duster. That's why we're the hearing aids. I was on that uh, more than anything. Uh-huh. Huh. Yeah, that was uh, definitely probably uh, different times, different times. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, 
But yeah, I was 18 series, so I was 18 MOS. So my last, my last six and a half years, seven years almost. Wow. So, so you yeah. jumped. Oh yeah, I was. I oh yeah, I've been jump certified since I was 18. Wow. That's why I left the army. I had a streamer. Um, my riser popped when I was going into Fallujah. My riser popped when I was going into Fallujah. I basically almost destroyed my back to the point where I can't even get certified as a firefighter in the state of Florida. That's why I started my business. Well, you see me, but I got hit by a drunk. That's a whole other story. Oh, uh, yeah. So if, what do you think the max personnel would be so I know exactly how much I would have to budget, worst case scenario? I, I'll say 10, but I just feel like that's not going to be enough. So I would recommend 12 or 14, but I don't, you know, I don't think we'll go over 14. All right, well, here's what I want you to do. I just want to make sure it's safe because I don't want to yeah. be involved in anything like happened with the ribbon riders. Yeah, yeah, that was dangerous. And then on top of that, we were speeding around to get back up front. So, you know. I know. You scared me. I had one, one or two of them come by me doing 100 miles an hour. Yeah. And that was on that damn road going around the lake. Right, right. It's crazy how they just, you know, the thing is, is if you don't have somebody in front, I mean, our guys knew that. That's why we took over once she passed the turn. That's why we were, you know, I was kind of rolling in the front for the rest of the time. Right. But it was just like, yeah. You've got to have somebody that knows the route, you know, because if we're not there, they need to know that this is where we either can sit and wait for a second for the catch up or, or turn, you know, uh, just because we're not at the light doesn't mean you keep going straight if you don't know the way. <laughs> right, exactly. Well, so, don't, you ain't got to worry about that because yeah. the guy that designed the route and myself will be up front, so there's not going to, I'm going to be up front so I can get back early enough to get ready for the rest of the day because the sure, rest yeah, of the day sure. is huge. Yeah, not a problem. All right, buddy. I appreciate you. Yeah, I'll review it. Send that to me, and I'll make sure I review it and go over it. All right, man. Thanks a lot. Right. Appreciate yes, you. Sir. All yeah. right. Bye-bye. Bye. Outstanding. <laughs> All right, so that's why. Right? He knows he's a talker. Yeah, yeah. Military guys are a talker. Well, the only thing I didn't... Did you see how, like, hesitant he was on the phone? No, he wasn't. He was, was just flowing because he knows me. Okay, okay. Yeah, and the, the little bit of hesitancy we got was for the military part. We had to think of bullshit. That, that yeah. MOS he made up, that ain't even an MOS. No, I know it right away. <laughs> no, and, and he didn't jump into Fallujah. Oh, I know. He jumped into Fallujah. <laughs> I had to keep everything I could from laughing on he that didn't one. He jump into Fallujah so. and, and all that crap. They're arresting all of us on the field. Every single one of us. Vanya, what are you think? Vanya, Vanya, I don't have time for this. What are you talking? Listen, I don't. Vanya, scoop. Hey, Sam. I gotta go. I gotta go. Diego, listen, I need you to tell them here they're arresting all of my guys and they're possibly going to arrest me. We just did a panel escort and they're saying that we can't wear what we're doing and wear them. And Orlando police is arresting all my guys right now. Uh, one is Victor Victor uh, Perez. One is uh, Stephen DeGron. One is uh, Randall something. Randall something. Stephen DeGron, Randall something or other, and Victor Perez. And they're probably going to arrest me. I don't know why. I was telling him about some of the stuff. Years ago, we had yeah. there's two brothers. I don't know if he's one of them. They were kind of running the company and they arrested. Yeah, because they usually they, live they on the grass. Right? They were uh, impersonating uh, your bike unit years ago, and also they were going down the drive during the class and writing tickets. They stole some tickets from the class. During the class. For English, press one. For a collect call, press zero. Please enter your 12-digit TID number. Please. Please enter the area code and phone. Please hold. Please wait while your call is being connected. Please hold. Hello, this is a free call from... Hey, uh, please pick up. 
an inmate at the Orange County Corrections. To accept this free call, press zero. To this call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hey, baby. Hey. How are you? I'm good. I'm just trying to, you know, sleep. Oh, you were in bed? Oh, yeah, you got to work bed. tomorrow. I'm so sorry. It's okay. All right. Mm. How are you? <laughs> Stressed out. But I'm all yeah. right. Just stressing about the money because uh, I know I'm, I didn't do anything, you know. So I'll let you read the report when you see it, you know. Yeah. When I mean, he... <laughs> He says in the report right here, he says, first off, there's a lot of things that I, to explain, it to take hours, but law enforcement, you have to have a reason to pull somebody over. You have to have a reason to run somebody's tag. Then you have to have a reason for all the things. It's a chain, a line, a chain. And if you don't have one of the links, your chain is illegal. So he says in the first statement. He says, I see a funeral escort being conducted. A black and white motorcycle with its air horn enters the intersection. He passes my motor, my clearly marked patrol car. Then he says here, and his first lie in the report, he says, he goes over the double yellow line and goes into oncoming traffic. But then he says, while traveling within the same lane, as the vehicles in the procession. So if I'm in the same lane as the vehicles in the procession, then I never drove over the yellow line. I drove yeah. in the line with the cars, which is what we've done for 10 years. And I know mm -hmm. I did that because he was sitting right there. So we all were doing exactly what we were supposed to do. So he lies saying that I was over the yellow line and driving into oncoming traffic, but then in the same sentence before the period, he says, and traveled within the same lane as the vehicle procession. In the same sentence. Yeah. So he had no legal bearing to pull me over. But see, here's the other thing. He didn't pull me over. The sergeant did. He was nowhere to be seen. So... It's <laughs> whatever, dude. And then the whole lie about the the computer, the the stolen cat motorcycle yeah. that they had to put me in handcuffs. <laughs> yeah. What did Amir say? Amir says we're gonna have to hire um, a civil attorney and sue. But civil attorneys hate suing the police departments. Yeah. But you have to find the right one. And he knows some. He knows a couple. The problem is, it's expensive. It's expensive. Yeah. But if you win, then you get all that money back. But if you don't win, you lost all that money. Yeah. But if we just let it go, because I know the state will drop the charges, or I know we'll beat it in court. That's what I'm asking you. What I'm oh. upset about your charges. Oh, he's not even worried about that. He's like. He's like, more than likely, the state won't file. And he's like, if they do file, I'll get him to drop them. He's like, you've been doing it for 10 years wearing the same uniform. I was like, right. I know. We didn't decide to impersonate law enforcement. Today, we've been doing the same thing with the same lights and the same stickers for 10 years. You guys have poked the bear one too many times. The bear's coming out of the woods. Okay, all right. Yeah. And he's like, and they really passed. The other guys doing the same thing, I was like, passed exactly four units to get to me. He's like, so let me get this straight. They passed four units that were doing the same thing, lights and air horn, to come to you. And I said, yes. He's like, then they were signaling you out. And I said, right. And it was the sergeant. He's like, so he singled you out of everyone you work with that day on that escort and came to talk to you. I said, yep. That, yeah. he said, is, that is, um, I forget the word he used. It's illegal. It's illegal. You can't, it's like if you arrest a drug dealer and you're the cop, unless 
unless you have clear proof evidence that he's selling drugs again, if you fuck with him, you're going to be held liable for fucking him. You can't do that. You can't keep harassing the same person. So he knows me from my past, so he was coming to harass me. That's yeah. harassment. And then I have, I've been arrested falsely, falsely accused and falsely arrested. And I can't even begin to fucking think if this gets out on the internet or the, the news. Oh yeah, I was, I've been jump certified since I was 18. Wow. That's why I left the army, I had a streamer. Um, my riser popped when I was going into Fallujah. Uh, basically almost destroyed my back to the point where I can't even get certified as a firefighter in the state of Florida. And I can't even begin to fucking think if this gets out on the internet or the, the news. Army. Army? So was I. Where were you stationed? I was betting and then I was bragged. Uh, I was originally a ranger, 3rd battalion, out of betting, and then I was 3rd group out of BRAC. Wow. Yeah. Well, thank you for your service. Thank you. What All did right. you do? I was, uh, <laughs> I had a lot of MOSs. I was 31B20, which was communications, and then I was 16F Foxtrot, which was the M42 Dutch, and that's why we're the hearing aid. I was on that uh, more than anything. Uh-huh. Huh. Yeah, that was uh, definitely probably uh, different times, different times. So, yeah, yeah. You know, but yeah, I was 18 series, so I was 18 MOS. So my last, my last six and a half years, seven years almost. Wow. So, so you yeah. jumped? Oh yeah, I was. I, I, oh yeah, I was, I've been jump certified since I was 18. Wow. That's why I left the army. I had a streamer. Uh, my riser popped when I was going into. Illusion.